Governor Kay Ivey delivering a final message to new lawmakers at the Alabama State House today before the upcoming legislative session. Today is the last day of orientation where new members learn more about the legislative process. Political reporter Aaron Davis has the preview of what to expect when legislators return to the State House in March. There will be six new state senators and 31 new representatives in the state house during the next legislative session. They've spent this week learning the ins and outs of what their jobs mean. You were elected by the people of Alabama to serve the people, not yourself. And former Democratic Representative Marika Coleman is now a state senator, so she'll be moving to the top floor where she hopes to have more influence. One of 105 is very different than one of 35. She says her gun regulation red flag bill will return. If a person shows that they are harmed to themselves or others, we have the ability, law enforcement has the ability to temporarily take those guns away. The new Republican representative for Etowah County, Mark Gidley, wants to focus on the state's community college system. Workforce development is another thing that has been really on the top of my list. Uh, what a, a great opportunity to our local community colleges to prepare the next generation of workforce. Governor Kay Ivey told all the new lawmakers to be ready to work when March 7th comes. There are many, many nuances to the job, and it doesn't matter if you're a freshman legislator or the governor. You must always be willing to learn. Ivy added that a special session is an option for lawmakers to finish spending American Rescue Plan dollars. Aaron Davis, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. And again, the 2023 legislative session will get underway in March.